Welcome to the Butler County Humane Society. This DVD is designed to help you become a knowledgeable and effective volunteer. We will walk through everything from dog and cat socialization to a tour of our facility to a look at volunteering at one of our events. Let's get started. When coming into the shelter to volunteer, you may use the front door or our side staff volunteer door. If you are coming during hours that we are not open to the public, you will need to use this side door. You will also need to sign in the volunteer logbook and put on a volunteer badge. If you are working with the dogs, grab the items posted on the dry erase board, a leash, an ID tag for the dog, and bags to clean up after the dog with. You are then ready to start enjoying your time here. When choosing a dog to walk, there are a few things to look for. The first thing to check for is the colored dot that will be located on each kennel. These dots will be green, yellow, or red. This will indicate which dogs you are able to walk. Determining the color of the dog is based on behavior. Think of them in terms of a stoplight. Green is go. These dogs are typically friendly and good for beginners to walk. Yellow is caution. While we do not allow beginners to walk yellow dots, with some experience and guidance from our kennel staff, you can work your way up to walking some great dogs. Lastly are red dots. These dogs are off limits to all but most seasoned volunteers. The only exception will be a red dot with an R on it, like this one. This means the dog is awaiting its current rabies vaccination. While it cannot be walked yet, once it has been vaccinated, its dot color could change. If you see a dog without a dot, please ask a staff member. The next thing you will look for is the kennel card. They can look like this or this. This will give you some information like breed, age, and some medical background about each dog. Some dogs may also have cards about medication, special diet, likes and dislikes, or activity restrictions on their kennel. Please be sure to read all of the information. After you have chosen the dog that you think you would like to walk, before opening the kennel door, take a minute to look at the dog's behavior. Is the dog exhibiting any aggressive or anxious behavior? If so, do not go any further. If the dog is wagging its tail or otherwise exhibiting friendly behavior, then you can proceed to introduce yourself to the dog. Slowly hold out your hand and allow the dog to sniff it through the kennel. Speak softly and reassuringly to the dog. If it is still displaying a friendly demeanor, you can open the kennel door and begin to get it out. You should already have a leash and ID tag. Using your body to keep the dog from charging out, open the kennel door and immediately grab the collar. Hook the leash first, then the ID tag both onto the collar loop. Being mindful of your surroundings while having a dog is extremely important. It is imperative to keep any dogs that you may be walking away from cats or other dogs. Keeping the dog on a short leash until outdoors will be the best way to keep everyone safe and in control. Be sure to use caution when going around corners and through doors. Never allow the dog to lead when going through doors. Keep yourself between the dog and any potential risks, including cats and other dogs in kennels. Once you have reached a safe place outdoors, you may give slack to the leash and enjoy your walk with your dog. Just be sure to keep the leash looped through your hand and not wrapped around your wrist. If the dog should bolt suddenly, having the leash looped around your wrist could be dangerous. And always maintain a distance of at least 15 feet between any dogs being walked outside, regardless of how friendly the dogs appear towards each other. We have a wonderful space for you to enjoy spending some time with our dogs outdoors. You are welcome to walk the dog in our side and backyards or take advantage of our fenced in volunteer yard. Here you may take some toys from our toy bins and play a game of fetch or rope tug with the dog off the leash. Please just be sure that both the interior and exterior doors to the volunteer yard are closed and properly latched before letting any dog off its leash. Also, be kind and bring back any toys you may have taken out. If you choose to stay indoors with your dog, you may use our round room to visit with the dog. You can let the dog off the leash in here as well. We just ask that you be courteous to any potential adopters and allow them space if needed. 
When returning the dog to the kennel, open the kennel door and unclip the ID tag. Leading the dog through the kennel door, you can then unclip the leash, back out of the kennel door and secure the latch. Using the proper procedure for dog socialization will ensure that you are able to become a comfortable and effective volunteer. Socializing cats can be a very fulfilling experience. If the necessary steps are taken to ensure a positive outcome, both you and the cat can benefit from the time you spend. We are going to give you a step-by-step -step view of how to properly socialize with a cat. Cats all have very unique personalities. Some are playful, while some are serious. Some very cautious and some timid. Before approaching any cat, it is important to determine what type of cat it is. Do not do this by sticking your fingers into the cage or waving toys in front of the cat. This will only stress the animal out. You can look to the kennel card hanging either on the front of each kennel door or on the side of the kennel. If you find a red dot on the card, that means these cats are for staff only. Once you have found a cat you can socialize with, approach the cat while still in the kennel and observe its behavior. Is it hissing, backing away, or looking scared? If so, do not go any further. Find a cat that looks more comfortable interacting with you. Once you find one that appears friendly, you can open the cage door. If you are in the white room, open it on the litter box side. Stop and see what the cat does. Don't make the first move. Let the cat come to you. If you are working in the front cat room, some of the cats will jump out on their own. If they are in lower cages, it is okay. However, if they are in higher cages, please help them out. If in the back area, allow the cat to come to the front of the cage and then pick them up. When picking up a cat, it is important to make the cat feel comfortable. The best way to make that happen is to support all four paws to the best of your ability and hold the cat close to your body without squeezing it too tight. Never pull out a cat that is not coming to you on its own. You can always ask a staff member for help until the cat is comfortable with you. When putting a cat back into its kennel, it is important to remember a couple of things. Do not chase the cat. If it is hiding, please ask a staff member for help. Just as if you were getting the cat out, pick it up with both hands, support all four paws, and hold the cat close to your body without squeezing. Place the cat back into its cage gently. Making sure that the cat's tail and paws are clear of the door, close and double check that the latch is properly secured. Please remember that as loved and well cared for as these cats are, this is an unnatural environment for them. They can display some behaviors you may not suspect. Be patient and let the cat take the lead. If you follow these few simple guidelines, you will guarantee a working relationship with you and the cats you have given your valuable time to. One very crucial part to our ability to run a successful shelter is our events. We hold many different types of events, but they all primarily serve the same functions. These events allow us to engage the community while promoting adoptions and fundraise for the shelter. While our staff puts a great deal of work into planning these important events, volunteers are the heart and soul that truly make them happen. Let's take a look at what you can expect when you step up to represent the Butler County Humane Society to the public. When volunteering for an event, you will typically need to come to the shelter before heading out to the location the event is being held at. You will do this because we will be sending you all the materials you will need for that specific event. Generally, this will be a small folding table, bin with table materials, and a dog. The bin will be packed and located on the table in the volunteer area. The staff will then be able to tell you which dog you will be taking and any special instructions for that dog. And just as you were taking the dog on a walk, you will clip a leash and ID tag to the collar and you will be ready to go. When you get to the event, you will set up a small table that will identify you as a proud member of our team. This is an example of how the table may look. 
During this time, you may be approached by people curious about what it is that we do here and the dogs and cats available. We will provide you with the necessary tools to answer the majority of these questions. If you are unsure of any questions, feel free to give the person one of our cards and refer them to us to answer their questions. After the event is over, we just ask that you bring all the materials and dogs taken to the event back. You can feel proud of the time you spent as the face of the Butler County Humane Society. You never know when the time you so graciously give turns into a forever home for one of our furry friends.